Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. If you have dreads and your head be itching, get a pic, man. Listen, the okay, these people need to be stopped. There's something going on, man. Something not right with these people. I don't know where they be getting. Listen, y'all know to share my story, people, right? You no, know, I did one reaction of them one time. When I saw my mom, I screamed. Ah! Mom, help! But my, my mom just started dangling. screaming too and didn't help at all. So, in the end, I tried to pull the snake's mouth open. But this made the snake bite down even harder. And that's when it happened. Oh! Uh, these people are out of pocket, you feel me? I haven't used out of pocket in like two years. But this is the definition of out of pocket, you feel me? Uh, we just go, we just probably gonna react to a few videos of them, and I'm about to show y'all why they out of pocket. First one, y'all won't believe this. Y'all won't believe what your ears are about to hear. Y'all won't believe it. Breastfed at 16. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh my neck. Why? Why? Hey, I'm Chris, I don't even want to hear this I've man talk. I don't even want to hear you talk. Look at your hair. Very close no, with stop. My mom. Stop. Stop. Everyone's very close with the mom. Most people are very close with the mom. Is it is the difference between very close and uh close close, you know what? Hey, I'm Chris and he I've always would been have very the name Chris. My mom. I guess it's because my dad left us when I was a baby. Dang. Ever since, our favorite activity was her breastfeeding me. What? Your favorite activity. Your favorite activity. But on my 10th birthday, she asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. At 10? <laughs> I'm a, ooh, I want to say so much. Okay. Started crying because I loved drinking my mom's You milk. titty baby? Nice. Because even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets No, I do not want him to go in detail with this. He's skinnier than me. Even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum. <laughs> Did he just say yum? Hold up. Even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum! <laughs> the video's over. <laughs> the video's over. This man gonna talk about some. After a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum! Like if you don't move. That's why I told her I would never stop drinking her milk. <laughs> and to the Mom! Mom! I would never stop drinking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is day every morning. Ooh, why is she coming? This is my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much. Look how she came in, bro. Look how she came in. And to this day. You're mad. I'm back. Big mad. He's mad. She's mad. Morning and every evening, my mom comes into my room to breastfeed me. Oh my god. I guess the only weird thing is that I'm 16. I actually didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager. Yes, you did. Because my mom homeschooled me until eighth grade. After that, I went to a public school, and when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? Everything! It tastes amazing. There are lots of it's health benefits, and I have a really close relationship with my mom because of it. The only thing I wish is that my mom was less overprotective and less involved in my life. I no, you don't. Like you still drink her breast milk. No, you don't. Like, she won't let me play soccer with my classmates because she is worried about me being injured. Because you know, you're going to slip up and say, I still drink my mom's breast milk, and she know you're going to say it, then you're going to embarrass yourself. Yeah! It's a story. Look, look at the title. I am breastfed at 16. 16. But I think she's just jealous when I'm hanging out with my friends because she doesn't have any friends herself. <laughs> and if you're just gonna throw shots at your mom like that? Like one time, a classmate of mine took a potato from my plate and ate it. He knew I would get upset about it, but he probably didn't expect what I did next. I got so mad that I threw the rest. <laughs> uh! And then I started screaming as loud as I could in the middle of our cafeteria. It took me a few seconds to realize that I had embarrassed myself in front of my whole school. It was the most pathetic moment in my life. And now everybody thinks that I'm a complete weirdo. You are. 
I guess she is scared of losing me and wants me to stay mature Bruh. so that I'll never move out of her home. That's why I recently told her I wanted to join the military uh, once I turned 18. Oh, snap. I was just joking, but she almost had a heart attack. If she don't calm down. And started down. begging me not to do it. If she don't calm down and go She said it's too dangerous for a little running. boy like me. I got <clears throat> angry and wanted to tell her I'm not a little boy anymore. But then she offered me to play hide and seek again, just like in the old times. This man got bribed by hide and seek. Two person hide and seek. This man got bribed by two person hide and seek. She's not even hiding good. And once I find her, I can drink her milk as a reward. This man find her, finds her and goes, MILK! Anyways, for the next two years, I will continue to live with my mom. And I'm not planning to stop breastfeeding anytime soon. I simply enjoy it too much. But I do know that at some point, I need to grow up and become independent of my mom. Because You're right never now, gonna I'm do a pathetic it. weasel that can't even take care of himself. So if I ever want to have a wife and kids, I first need to become a mature and reliable man. Anyways, thank you for listening to my story. And please subscribe to this channel. He didn't make any progress. Let me check my chest, my breath right quick. I'm wearing diapers at 17. Hey. She might have a medical problem. She might have a medical problem. I hope for a medical problem. I hope for a medical pro All right. Hey, my name is Maria. And in Hello, this video, Maria. you'll find out how I told the guy I was dating that I still wear diapers even though I'm 17 years old. I guess you're wondering why I'm wearing diapers? Well, when I was a kid, I was in a serious car accident that left me with nerve damage in my lower spine. I had to have a lot of physical therapy to help me recover, and I also lost control of my bladder. Ever since, Medical I've problem. had to wear Thank diapers. You. I saw Good. Be bullied. That's also why I hate PE class. I don't want any of my classmates to see my diapers when I change clothes. Luckily, I got a special permission to use a private changing room. I'm so grateful for that. Even though I get teased yes, for thinking sir. I'm more important than everyone else, but I don't mind. I'm also always hey. wearing long, flowy dresses at school, but no one knows why. I tell them it's because I like to look classy, but really, it's because if I was wearing jeans, everyone would see my diapers. My biggest worry was about dating, though. Would any guy ever love me despite my condition? And would I ever be brave enough to tell a guy? Guys, guys, would you date a girl that wear diapers? I mean, you feel me? Hey, listen, I mean, listen. All right, hear me out, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the dream girl, you feel me? She got everything. She got looks, she got cakes, she got personality, her, she pretty, but she got a medical condition, bro, and she gotta wear diapers. I would do it. Call me weird if you. Hey, come on now. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna leave that to y'all. I'm gonna leave that to y'all. My secret. My classmates was diagnosed with a brain tumor and passed away. Her death put Dang, everything man. into perspective, and I realized how lucky I was and how short life could be. I mean, I could have died instead of her. After that, I decided not to be afraid of dating anymore, and I joined an online dating site. The first few guys I met were really Naruto. What the free? Why they do that to Naruto, bro? Weird. And I began to regret oh joining the site. But then I got lucky and I met a really nice guy. His name is Mason, like his name, and we've been dating okay, for okay. around six months. When I decided I had to tell him about my condition, gotta tell him about I the told him we needed to talk, and he. She better be wearing pull-ups, bro. She better. <laughs> She better be wearing pull-ups, bro. No freaking lie, bro. She better be hook, you feel me? She gotta do the strap joints. And then she better be wearing pull-ups. Adult pull-ups. I really nervous because he thought I wanted to break up with him. When I told him about my condition and showed him my diapers, he was shocked. But he was still really sweet about it. He asked why I wore diapers, so I told him about the car accident and my nerve damage. I was so nervous because I didn't know if he'd want to stay with a girl in diapers. I mean, if he wanted to break up, I'd completely understand it, even though I'd be devastated. 
But then he said something which made me cry. He said he loved me for who I am and my condition wasn't a problem for him because as long as I was happy, he'd be happy too. Clap it up for Mason, y'all. Clap it up for Mason. He real. He real. I don't want to hear. I want. I don't want to see simp comments, bro. I don't want to see simp. Clap it up. I said clap. What are you doing? Clap it. I mean, of course, I still wish I didn't have to wear diapers, but in the end, so what? Hello. Course, were, the, were those pull ups? I didn't have to wear those. Diaper. I don't know. I don't know. Those don't look. Those don't, those don't look like pull ups, man. Do you wear diapers and feel sorry for yourself? Or do you wear diapers and make the most of your life? I wear diapers and I'm proud! I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. We just gonna, we gonna, we gonna end it here. We had two. If y'all want me to react to these, again, just let me know, you know what I'm saying? This was, this was interesting and weird. Hey, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Diaper gang. Give me pinkies. Shout out Breleezy. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit by the like button. I'm gonna see you guys next time.